What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the nerfs to the Red Death and the Kostov. Now, a lot of you out there I know are kind of worried, is this affecting a lot of things in PvE? Is it only affecting PvP? And I kind of want to go over both of these changes in today's video. So first of all, the Kostov. It says, for recoil, it should come as no surprise to anyone who has used the beloved bullet bouncing auto rifle that there was something different about the recoil. This is a result of the bug. We intended to reduce only the recoil of special ricochet rounds by 50%, but it was instead applied to the entire magazine, effectively giving the weapon maximum stability. Uh, many players who have the weapon have commented on how good it feels in its current state, and we do not want to remove the exotic feeling entirely, but the level it's at is objectively too strong compared to other weapons in our sandbox. We will be removing the bug that affects the uh, the effect that reduces recoil by 50%. But as a middle ground, we have increased the base stability by 30 up to 72. This will give back not all but some of that stable feel without leaving it so far out of the kind of, you know, out of the band for feeling a lot different than it did before yesterday's changes. Uh, the, ricochet, uh, the ricochet shots. While the bouncing rounds are fun for PvE, they were providing to be a problematic balance issue for PvP. With very high uptime and the ability to be buffed by orbs, the damage they deal both on initial impact and on the returning bounces allows the Kostov to uh, neutrally drop its time to kill down to a level usually reserved for more difficult to trigger damage boost. They wanted to avoid impacting the PVE change uh, with this change, so they have reduced the initial bounce impact damage against players only from 15 to 5. They have also reduced the bouncing bullet damage against players only from 18.4 to 4.6 damage, leaving PVE unchanged. These changes will retain the uptime of the perk in the Crucible, but bring the effectiveness, uh, the effectiveness more in line. So as you can see, most things for this weapon are not really affecting PvE too much. I know a lot of people were worried because it's a long process to unlock this weapon. I just got it uh, unlocked recently myself, and when I heard it was nerfed, I was thinking, oh, man, I've missed the kind of, you know, prime of this gun. But fortunately, it seems like a lot of this is for PvP. Now, if you were wanting this gun just to play PvP with, from everything that I have heard, it is still really good in PvP, but not quite as good as it was. Now, when it comes to the Red Death, uh, lurking just under the uh, the Kostov's coated surface of our current weapon meta is the Red Death. As many observant players have noticed, there is also something special about the Red Death's recoil pattern. Uh, this was not a bug; it was a intentional. A connection to the original Destiny variant of the weapon, which, like the Outbreak Perfected, will utilize auto rifle recoil patterns instead of the more severe pulse rifle patterns, giving them tighter burst spread and higher ease of use. While the Red Death is not far out of line in terms of strength, the high impact family of pulse rifles itself is very strong, and having all bonus stability provided by the special recoil pattern feels like overkill. So we have experimented with several different tuning options. Completely replacing the recoil with standard pulse rifle recoil felt like it shifted the gun too far away from its origins. As you may hear my new puppy playing in the floor <laughs> here with some toys. Uh, so we instead choose to reduce the added stability that the pattern provides. This will align the burst spread more closely with other pulse rifles while retaining as much of the unique feel as possible. Um, so for speaker sight orb generation as it stands it's currently too easy to generate an extreme number of orbs in the crucible using this exotic. We would like to retain the ability to generate orbs in crucible and also allow players to lean into that healer fantasy but the current volume of the health for the sandbox uh, was not good. So in short term they will be disabling the orb generation por portion of the exotic in crucible only. In long term, they will revisit and allow the weapon to create orbs at a more reasonable rate. So mainly, like I said, things for the Red Death and things for the Coast Stop were tailored toward PvP. So I kind of want to just clear that up because I know a lot of people, like I said, like these two weapons and probably heard that they were nerfed and started worrying that it was just an overall nerf. Mainly for PvP, 
a few PVE changes in there. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.